I tested some of the best video editing software of 2025 and in this video I'm gonna rank them in a tier list based on their value for money overall performance and more. Links to all of the products will be in the description below. Adobe After Effects. This software is absolutely insane when it comes to motion graphics and visual effects. You can create stunning animations, complex compositing, and jaw-dropping visual effects that would blow your mind. But honestly, it's a complete beast that will push your computer to its limits. While it's incredibly powerful for creating professional motion graphics and special effects, the learning curve is steep and the rendering times can be painfully slow, especially with complex projects. I'm placing this in the god tier because when you master it, there's literally nothing you can't create visually. CapCut This thing is actually shocking me with how good it's become for a free editor. The AI-powered features like auto-captioning, background removal, and the massive library of templates make content creation ridiculously fast especially for social media. It works seamlessly across desktop, mobile, and browser, which is perfect for creators who need to edit on the go. Though, you occasionally deal with some lag on larger projects. I'm putting this straight into God here because getting this level of functionality completely free is just not real. Adobe Premiere Pro. This is the industry standard that most professional editors swear by, and for good reason. The interface is incredibly flexible, it integrates perfectly with other Adobe apps, and the new AI features like Generative Extent are absolutely mind-blowing. However, you're looking at a pretty hefty subscription cost, and some of the coolest new features are still stuck in beta, which is honestly frustrating. I'm definitely placing this in the god tier because despite the price, it's the go-to choice for serious video production. Final Cut Pro This editor is lightning fast on Mac, and the magnetic timeline is genuinely revolutionary for quick editing workflows. The optimization for Apple Silicon is incredible, and features like AI-powered, slow motion, and the new image playground integration make it really compelling for Mac users. The downside is you're completely locked into the Apple ecosystem, and while it's great for fast-paced content, it lacks some of the precision tools that other editors offer. I'm putting this in the good tier because it's excellent but limited to Mac users only. Vegas Pro This software has some solid features like strong audio tools, decent color grading, and good performance with GPU acceleration. The AI-powered speech-to-text and auto-reframe features are actually pretty useful for modern content creation, and it's more stable than previous versions, but it's Windows only, has a steeper learning curve for beginners, and some advanced features require additional paid plugins, which is annoying. I'm placing this in the good tier because while it's capable, it just doesn't have the wow factor of the top tier options. Wondershare Filmora this software strikes a sweet balance between powerful features and user-friendly design that honestly made me excited to edit again. The AI tools are genuinely impressive, offering text-based editing and motion tracking capabilities that usually cost way more in other programs. The render speeds are blazing fast, which is a godsend when you're on a deadline and don't want to wait hours for your project to export. However, I've gotta be real with you. The constant upselling for AI credits and premium effects can feel pretty annoying when you're trying to focus on creating. The interface is clean and organized, making it accessible for beginners while still packing enough punch for more advanced users. For enthusiasts who want professional level tools without a complexity of Premiere Pro, I'm placing this in the great tier. Apple iMovie This is Apple's free offering that comes bundled with all the, their devices, and honestly it does exactly what it promises without any fuss. The magnetic timeline is brilliant for quick edits, and the integration with iPhone features like cinematic mode is seamless if you're already in the Apple ecosystem. The storyboards and Magic Movies features on mobile are actually pretty clever for creating content on the go. But let's be honest, you'll quickly hit walls if you want to do anything remotely advanced like multi-cam editing or extensive color grading. It's perfect for family videos and basic YouTube content, but the limited effects library and trackless timeline can feel restrictive when you want more control. For casual users who just need something that works without a learning curve, I'm putting this in the average tier. Cyberlink Powered Director 365 This editor genuinely bridges the gap between consumer and professional software in a way that impressed me more than I expected. The AI features are actually useful rather than gimmicky. The anime video effects and voice changer tools work surprisingly well. What really sold me is the rendering speed and stability. It handles 4K footage without breaking a sweat on decent hardware. The subscription model gives you monthly updates with new effects and features, which keeps things fresh for content creators. However, some of the advanced tools don't offer as much flexibility as through professional software, and the back version still lacks on Windows features like multi-cam editing. For creators who want pro-level results without the pro-level complexity, I'm confidently placing this in the good tier. Adobe Premiere Rush 
This mobile-first editor focuses on speed and simplicity, which is exactly what social media creators need when they're pumping out content daily. The magnetic timeline works smoothly, and the cross-platform sync between devices used to be a major selling point. The color grading tools are decent for quick corrections, and the preset templates help you maintain consistency across your content. But here's the thing that really bothers me. Adobe hasn't updated this with new features since 2021, and they recently killed the cloud syncing feature that made it special. The export restrictions are annoying, and the effects library feels sparse compared to competitors like CapCut that offer similar functionality. For creators who need quick mobile editing without bells and whistles, I'm placing this in the good tier. Shotcut This open-source powerhouse completely blows away my expectations for free software every single time I use it. The feature set rivals paid editors with support for multiple layers, advanced effects, and even AV war format compatibility. The time remapping and keyframe animation tools work smoothly, and the marker system with YouTube chapter export is genuinely clever. The interface is functional rather than flashy, but everything you need is accessible once you learn the layout. My main gripes are the slightly steep learning curve for beginners and the fact that some com advanced features can slow down older computers. But honestly, for a completely free editor that receives regular updates and has an active community, this delivers incredible value. I'm thrilled to put this in the great tier. Lightworks This software has been around for over 30 years and was used for classics like Pulp Fiction and The Wolf of Wall Street. The interface is intuitive and offers professional multi-track editing with keyframes and multi-cam support making it decent for serious projects. However, it seriously lacks modern features like AI tools, motion tracking, and video stabilization, which puts it behind the competition. I'm placing this in the good tier because while it's serviceable for pro work, it just doesn't keep up with today's standards. DaVinci Resolve This is literally what Hollywood professionals use for feature films and TV shows. We're talking Emmy Award-winning technology here. It combines editing, color correction, visual effects, motion graphics, and audio post-production all in one package with 32-bit float processing and incredible color science. The interface changes based on what you're working on with dedicated pages for different tasks. Plus, it has advanced features like multi-cam editing, AI-powered tools, and professional-grade color grading. I'm putting this straight into God here because honestly you can't get better than what the pros use, and it's completely free. Microsoft ClipChamp this browser-based editor is Microsoft's answer to quick video creation, built right into Windows 11. It's super easy to use with drag-and-drop functionality, AI features like auto captions, and text-to-speech, plus you can export it 1080p without watermarks on the free plan. The downside is it lacks advanced features like multi-cam editing, motion tracking, and can be slow with larger projects. Plus you need internet since it's browser-based. I'm placing this in the average tier because it's perfect for basic stuff but nothing more. Canva Video this platform makes video editing ridiculously simple with its drag-and-drop interface and massive template library for every social media format. It has some cool AI features like Magic Media that can generate videos from text prompts, background removal, and auto-generated captions that are fully editable. The templates cover everything from YouTube to TikTok, and you get full control over your content unlike some competitors. I'm putting this in the great tier because it's incredibly user-friendly and perfect for content creators who want professional results fast. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you pick the best video editing software for you. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Links to all of these products mentioned in this video will be in the description. Alright, peace out.